everyone, it's Ed Bowman, and I have a guest with me. Donnie Yance. Donnie Yance. Donnie, what brought you to Bowman College? Well, you did, Ed. I know. That was like, how long did it take? <laughs> it took took oh, me a couple of years. Two so years. Go. But you, you had a baby. I was having you a couple, three years Shack ago. going back five years. So that's how long it's been. Like, yeah, I'm bringing yeah. you down. Yeah. yeah. So it's been great. We had a wonderful day. This morning, the morning session, we taught all about the role that elite herbs and natural compounds can play and helping to uh, mitigate the effects of chronic disease, and particularly stress, mm -hmm. and aging. So how we can use these wonderful herbs known as adaptogens, yeah. and what I call adaptogenic remedies, and specific nutrients in concert with that to basically better our lives. Yes. Well, I, I would say that my favorite adaptogen is Shazandra, yeah. and, my, and probably close is Repuncticum. Wait a but, minute, wait a minute, slow down. Shazandra is what kind of plant? What does it look like? Or what Shazandra part of the plant? It's a bush, yeah. and the berries are used, and then the seed inside the berry mm. actually houses a, a lot of the medicine. It concentrates what's called the lignin compounds called Shazandrins. Yeah. So if I were to buy little Shazandra berries, could I chew them up and eat the seed too? No, you or wouldn't is the seed do that. too hard? No, you wouldn't do that. What do you do? You could, you could either um, decoct them, which is traditionally in yeah, Chinese yeah. medicine, which Boil is cooked them, them yeah. but you don't get that much of the medicine that way, to be mm -hmm. honest with you. The lignin compounds are more alcohol soluble and not yeah. so water soluble, so really tincture. the best way is extract, you know, fluid mm -hmm. extract or tincture. and. Um, so that's one of my favorites. It's called yeah. the five spice herbs. So you, you know, yeah. sweet, pungent, salty, bitter. So you being in the yeah, culinary so thing, and you know, you get, you get it all. It's got like a good plant. flavor it's got, too. It's, it's really nice. Oh, it's a fabulous yeah. flavor. That's kind of why I like it. Yeah. But it's, um, but it's. I, I'm a person that likes family of herbs, just mm -hmm. like cooking. It's like, Absolutely. what's your favorite food? Yeah. Well, you know, maybe I have a meal that's my favorite yeah. meal that yeah. is made up of this food, that yeah. food, and this, and a little taste of this. For me, herbal medicine is the same way. It's yeah. like, what's my family of herbs? So I like combining a lot of herbs and families of herbs, and you know, it's it's kind of like an orchestra. It's like, so what, like, what are a couple, two or three plants that would go along nicely with Shazam? Well, we have primary plants, yeah. which we talked about, and my book is about adaptogens mm -hmm. and medical herbalism. So some primary herbs with Shazandra could be rhodiola, mm -hmm. could, gin, could be ginseng, could be Eleutherococcus. That's a combination of four primary adaptogens, but then we might Flavor them up a little bit with some synergist and yeah, some turmeric. Kind of have Turmeric would there. be, you know, turmeric. I call a companion adaptogen. Yeah. In other words, it it doesn't have the stress protective, anabolic restorative effects that a, that a that a primary adaptogen does. But because it mitigates a lot of the other effects of aging, yeah. whether it be uh, oxidative stress, whether it be inflammatory chemicals, stress, yeah. chemical exposure. It, when it's combined with the primary adaptogen, you get even a better medicine. Yeah. That's the kind of the way I think. So you, you have a little bit of these culinary plants that, you know, sage, rosemary, ginger, turmeric, um, maybe put them with some of the primary adaptogens, and now we have an orchestra. Now some of these, some of these can actually be in soups, right? Uh, many of these herbs can be used in, in cuisines, culinary cuisines, mm -hmm. soups, mm -hmm. cooking. Yeah. They can be then also um, taken as um, supplemental herbs as mm -hmm. well, uh, um, mostly as extracts. And so now we're sophisticated enough that we can take some of these plants and concentrate them to yeah. very, very um, therapeutic levels. And so that now we get even that much more benefit, you know, so because we are more toxic than our precipices. <laughs> well, so we might need of, more medicine, you know, yeah, in the yeah. form of herbs than maybe previously generations have, and we're constantly wanting more of us. We want to be healthy. So it doesn't hurt to both use these mm -hmm. botanicals, these culinary yes. herbs, you know, both as part of our cuisine as mm -hmm. well as part of our supplemental, you know, regime as well.